As of March 31st of 2024, there are currently 46 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Iceland's Reykjanes volcano, which is located 38 kilometers southwest of the nation's capital city, Reykjavik. The Reykjanes volcano is now on day 16 of its latest eruption, which has so far covered 6.18 square kilometers and a little more than 25 million cubic meters of lava. Thankfully, the lava walls protecting Greenvik have held so far, and the number of continuously erupting vents has decreased to only one. And now, here are this week's top volcano-related news stories. In Indonesia, the erupting Merapi volcano has continued to produce ever-increasingly powerful explosions, sending boulders of lava as much as 2 kilometers or 6,600 feet into the air. Elsewhere, in the Philippines, the Taal volcano produced its highest level of sulfur dioxide emissions in more than 15 months, causing warnings to be sent out urging people to stay indoors and keep an eye out for negative health effects that exposure might cause. And in what is this week's top story, more than 40 earthquakes struck the populated Portuguese island of Terceira, which were centered underneath its Santa Barbara volcano. Santa Barbara is merely the tallest of several eruptive centers on the island, home to approximately 53,000 residents, which is considered part of the singular Tercera volcano. Since July of 2022, such earthquake storms have become increasingly common at the Santa Barbara complex, signaling that something changed underneath its edifice that month. This is the very reason why its alert level since August of 2022 has been maintained at an elevated level of V2 on the V0 to V6 alert level scale. While this is unconfirmed, I interpret that since mid-2022, small volumes of magma have been very slowly refilling Tercera's underlying magma chamber at a depth of 6 to 8 kilometers. This magma chamber is still partially empty, so the small volumes of intruding magma have not reached sufficient volumes to generate detectable amounts of ground deformation quite yet. The earthquakes appear to be primarily hydrothermal in origin, as groundwater is heated by residual heat from underlying fresh magma and subsequently ascend into fault lines which then move slightly. The number of earthquakes underneath the Santa Barbara volcano has been slowly increasing since March of 2021, and this is somewhat close as a pattern to what Tercera experienced in 1760. That year, a slow, albeit somewhat exponential, increase in earthquakes occurred month over month, with the earthquake rate eventually producing a very large spike, and finally an eruption occurred in 1761. However, while 10 other similar episodes of volcanic unrest have occurred at Tercera since the island was settled in the 1500s, only three of these have resulted in volcanic eruptions. The current activity is too weak to signal any imminent eruptive danger, but if this pattern continues, might signal a chance of a volcanic eruption occurring within the next decade. During the entirety of 2023, the Taol volcano produced a daily average of 3,800 tons of sulfur dioxide gas. If such measurements were to be recorded when a volcano is not erupting at any other volcano, it would be an imminent warning sign of a major explosive eruption. However, at Taol, this is just business as usual. Taol has an unusually large magma chamber which contains an open conduit to the surface. However, since January of 2024, Taol's sulfur dioxide emissions have averaged over 10,000 tons a day. This reached a 15-month high on March 28th, releasing 18,638 tons of this gas. This increasing amount of gas could suggest that a small batch of magma has intruded into Taol's main magma conduit and could soon produce a phreatomagmatic eruption. However, Taol is quite an unpredictable volcano, so the most likely outcome is that no new small-sized volcanic eruption takes place in the next week, and that gas emissions once again decrease back to around 10,000 tons a day. Since December 3rd of last year, when Indonesia's Mount Merapi produced an unexpected but deadly eruption, it has been near-continuously erupting. Much of this activity has consisted of volcanic explosions which have occurred alongside the repeated building and partial destruction of a lava dome within its Verbi crater. This crater has largely filled with debris since the eruption began four months ago and is now 100 meters shallower. Because of this, several recent volcanic explosions have been able to hurl large blocks of anisite lava to ever-increasing heights. 
heights reached 500 meters than a kilometer, but then multiple lava bombs were ejected to a height of 2,000 meters above Merapi Summit Crater just after midnight on March 27th. This showered two square kilometers with up to car-sized lava bombs, but thankfully this currently closed-off volcano had no people on it at the time. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on March 30th of 2024.